Hello everyone, Ms. Bondura here to talk about microbes. Now microbes is a really general term. A lot of small living things are included in this category, so it's hard to say anything about the category altogether. So here's some of the different things that can be included. We have bacteria. Um, we have some small swimming pond creatures. We've got some viruses. Um, and we also have yeast that has some more internal structure, like that right there. So those are all considered microbes. And one of the things to think about with these is how they impact human beings. So you could have ones that are good for us, ones that are bad for us, and ones that don't make any difference in our lives. And most microbes don't really make any difference for us. They live in a pond. If we go swimming in the pond, they don't make us sick, they don't make us healthier, they're just living their little pond lives. But some of them, like the ones in the top row here, are good for us, and the ones at the bottom here are always bad for us. Um, they can make us sick in various ways. One interesting part is this one right here, the pink one, Escherichia coli, also called E. coli. It's good for you if it's in your intestines. It helps your digestion, helps keep you healthy. But if that bacteria gets onto your food, especially salads and lettuces are susceptible to this, then it can make you sick. So the same microbe, just in a different place, can change what it does to the humans. So it's a very interesting topic. There's lots of different little corners of it that you could explore. So that's the basic idea. Some are good, some are bad. So enjoy learning some more details. Have a good day. Bye-bye.